with the most positive impact. Senator George Voinovich is a member of the Appropriations Committee, Homeland Security, and Governmental Affairs Committee. Senator, good to have you back on the program. Good morning to you. Good morning. We're glad to be back with you. I want, I want to get to this commission uh, to talk about how the government plans its, its tax and entitlement spending uh, down the road. But, but i got to start with health care. People aren't talking about anything else this morning. Uh, Senator DeMint was on the Today Show this morning and would not back away uh, from his assertion that health care uh, will be Obama's Waterloo, in his view. Is that overstating it? Well, I, no, we're not stating it that way. The, the fact of the matter is, is that we have a situation today which, which presents a dilemma. And the dilemma is this, and, and I remember it vividly from my days when I became governor of Ohio. And I, I told the people of Ohio, said, gone are the days when public officials will be judged by how much they spend on a problem. The new realities dictate that public officials will be judged on whether they can work harder and smarter and do more with less. That's a big change. That is a big change in the political framework of this country. Would you agree? A a absolutely. And that's why we need to look at this uh, financial situation that's not sustainable. When you talk about deficits, this deficit this year, 1.8 trillion, next year another 1.4 trillion, and uh, the predictions are that the, the deficit or the, the national debt will double in, um, in, in five years and triple in, in three years. Uh, we are on a course that's not sustainable, and the American people finally are getting it because in their own families, they are now cutting back, not buying as much, trying to save money, and they're asking the question, how in the world can this government of ours, with the, with the financial difficulties that we have and the spend and borrowing, take on new responsibilities at a time when we can't even handle the responsibilities that we have? For example, Medicare by 2017 uh, is going to run out of money. In other words, the money coming in is not going to be enough for the money to take care of the people that are there. And, and people are just looking at us and saying, what are you people doing? Senator Steve Walker, good to see you again. Senator, you obviously know that we're headed for a fiscal cl cliff, and you obviously are proposing this legislation, this uh, Secure America's Future Economy Commission with Senator Lieberman. Why do you believe an extraordinary process like this is necessary? Well, I think a good example of it is what we're going through right now and trying to put together uh, a bill that will reform health care in this country. I think we've proven that we cannot take care of this problem through the regular order of business. And what Joe Lieberman and I are pr promoting, something that's supported by uh, the Heritage Foundations, the Brookings, and other responsible groups, is a 18-member uh, commission that would meet for a year, and they would come back with recommendations on how we can deal with entitlements and also tax reform, which are, are both tied together. Now, right now, we're fighting about uh, entitlements. And the big issue now over in the Energy and Commerce Committee in the uh, and the House of Representatives is how do we pay for it? So you can't, you've got us, you've got to, it's time for us to take this on. And the only way we're going to do it, David, and you know you've been watching this over the years, you can't do it to the regular order of business. We need to have this group meet together. If 13 out of the 18 agree that we should go forward with a plan to deal with these, it gets expedited procedure. It goes to the House. It goes to the Senate. It has an upvote or it has a downvote, like very much we do with the with the BRAC Commission. It's the only way that we are going to deal responsibly with this problem. And let me tell you something. The world's watching us right now. They know that our course is not sustainable. I was in, up in Canada at the U.S. Uh, 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 Canadian Parliamentary Group, and they're saying, what are you guys doing? I was over in Europe. They know we're on a course that we cannot sustain, and the American people know we're on a course that we can't sustain, and we refuse to, to uh, the President and the Congress to face up to the fact that now is the time for us to get serious about dealing with these long-term uh, financial uh, fiscal problems that we are going to have. Yeah. And if we don't do it pretty quick, so, David, we're going to lose our credibility and we're going to lose our credit. We're going to see interest rates skyrocket. Thank Senator, you for your what, leadership, Senator. Senator, one question before we go on health care. How much of this disagreement with the administration is about the policy of health care and how to fix it? And how much of it is Republicans' obvious and understandable uh, desire to declaw the president politically. How much of that does that fit into the equation? I think it's probably 50-50, but I will tell you this. We have enough Republicans in the United States Senate that want to work on a bipartisan basis with this president to try and come up with something that the American, that will not uh, kill our economy and uh, 
make sure that we start to do a better job with the money that's being provided for health care in this country. I mean, we know that we're spending more money out of our GDP on health care than any nation in the world. Right. We've got to figure out how we can do a better job with the money that we're spending today. Right. And I think if the president continues to work on a bipartisan basis, particularly with Baucus and with Chuck Grassley and the Finance Committee, there's a possibility that we could have something uh, get done. At the same time, he's going to have to worry about his Democrats on the other side who realize that marginal rates are going up, we're going to tax dividends higher than we did before, um, and we're going to um, also, uh, you know, have, we're going to have to deal with the estate tax. A lot of these taxes are going up, up and away, and now they're talking about, well, we're just going to put more taxes on one group of people, and they know if we continue to do what we're doing, we're going to kill the goose that laid the golden egg. Senator, appreciate your time this morning. Good to talk to you. To talk Senator to you George too. Voinovich uh, joining us from the Hill. All right, coming up, the health care pitch before the big game. Kathleen Sebelius, the Health and Human Services Secretary, she's going to be our special guest.